I love it. What Henderson went airborne against you to get one final shot in back at UFC 100 in 2009, and he started using a silhouette of that punch as a logo for his brand. How badly does that get under your skin, and how how much are you looking forward to this this weekend? You know, it doesn't really get under my skin. Does it irritate me a little bit? Yeah, it irritates me. You know, it, it's uh, slightly annoying. I wouldn't say that it keeps me up at night. It certainly doesn't get my blood boiling. But it's okay because in three days' time, I get to get revenge. I'm going to knock him out and I'm going to flick him off the end of the shoe like a piece of dog shit. And we're never going to hear from him ever again. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> you're, you're better than Conor McGregor, man. <laughs> yeah, fuck Conor McGregor. You think he's the real deal right now. <laughs> I was even I... thinking Conor McGregor was still fucking looking for his lucky charm. <laughs> I am, wait, we are so thrilled you took the time to come on the show. I'm dying to ask you, how, how tough do you think Brock Lesnar is? <laughs> how tough do I think Brock Lesnar is? Listen, I would say any man that takes him to the Octagon because he takes balls. Yeah. But if you're going to go in there and take steroids to do it, fuck you, you pussy son of a bitch. Kiss my ass. I will knock Brock Lesnar out with one fucking punch. I will pick him up and throw him around the Octagon like the pussy that he is. I might make it myself clear. Fuck you, Fox, fuck steroids, <laughs> fuck all you fucking faggots that want to come on here and say steroids. I'm, wow. I take myself clear. I shouldn't have used that hard ass. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but uh, other than that, steroids are the scourge of this sport. And anyone that takes them, kiss my ass. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't have a comment on that because I have to see him next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm, I'm not as tough as you. Tell us that what's up. Say hi. I, I won't even bring that subject up. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he scares me. <laughs> I used to have to oh, wrestle him. That, that was bad enough. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. No, he's a big son of a bitch, but as I say, yeah. you know, real men don't, don't cheat in a real fight. You know, in, in your world, you know, it's entertainment. You've got to look good. You've got to be big and especially for the audience. You guys, good for you. Good for you. In a yeah. real fight, you know, you shouldn't be cheating the check and steroids. Oh, I've got Gordon Ramsay up there the line. Yeah. Um, so um, I know you've got to be a friend a, a friend and a, a, a fan of, of uh, Jones, too. Do you feel the same way? You know, yeah. It's a shame to John Jones. John Jones is incredibly talented, and he's one of the best. Uh, well, he's probably the best fighter that we've ever had. He's just incredible. He just, uh, he's got some personal demons, obviously. You know, he keeps making mistakes, keeps getting in trouble. So I wish him the best. I really do. But, uh, you know, hopefully we get to see him inside the octagon again. Yeah, you know, I don't like to kick him out while he's out. John Johnson's never done wrong to me. He's never, uh, he's always, you know, he's always been a good guy to be around. So he's yeah. got some demons, obviously. You know, maybe he needs to talk to somebody and yeah. uh, try and straighten out his life. And I wish him the best. Yeah, he's a very respectful guy and a fan of our of my business as well. Um, Conrad, you're yeah, gonna ask him. I get it. One more thing, and I know you got to go and do all your stuff in preparation, and you're on a radio tour. But you think Ronda Rousey will come back? Yeah, I think so. You know, I mean, uh, from what I'm hearing from Dana White, she was, uh, you know, she was working hard. She was, you know, the face of the organization for a while. She took a break, had some time off. I hear she's coming back at the end of the year, you know, and we all need time off now and then. This is a crazy business, what we do, yes. you know, similar to you guys, we're on the road for a long, long time, and, you know, it's hard on the body. She took some time off, and uh, according to Dana, she might fight by the end of the year, so I'm sure everyone's going to be very excited for that. Yeah, that's great. I just, I always wondered, you know, it seemed to me like um, if you lose your psych, I mean, I just, I worry that she doesn't come back and, have another bad experience because she's a wonderful person. I've gotten to meet her several times. Yeah. Well, this weekend yeah, is what it's know, a... This is a cool business. One yes. person wins, one person loses every single time. And that's what's going to happen. Don't miss it. It's UFC 204 this Saturday from Manchester. It's sold out, but you can still tune in on pay-per-view. Don't miss it. It is UFC 204. The champ is going to be there, Michael Bisbing, the UFC middleweight champion, looking to avenge his UFC 100 loss against Dan Henderson. Thank you so much for the time. Michael, today. thank you so much, sir. So appreciated. And good luck. Yeah, nice talking to you guys.
Well, how about that, man? Fuck, that's pretty good shit. <laughs> I, uh, I I gotta say, Michael Bisping has one of, if not the very best stories in the UFC. Yeah. To start on the Ultimate Fighter, be in the organization as long as he has, then finally get his only title shot on two weeks' notice. Yeah. And win the belt, avenging an old loss. It's almost storybook stuff. And yeah. if you're even a casual fan of the UFC, I can't recommend his special they're running right now on FS1 enough. It really gives you all the info you need about his career and a peek behind the curtain about what motivates him today. And you can tell from listening to him, Rick, uh, he grew up a wrestling fan because yeah. he's a hell of a promo. He, yeah, he's, he's got attitude, man, and charisma, and he's good. So that's a nice, a nice way to run your life. So best of luck to him, Conrad. Thank you so much. The show was a great one. Um, once again, <laughs> hopefully we'll, we'll, we won't get the reaction we got last week. <laughs>